Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Scottish News Network news report. I'm your host here, King PJ. I am no longer a bush. I have decided to put on human flesh. I've stolen somebody's flesh. Yes. Um, but on that note, we got a lot to cover with uh, this little wrap-up news report for the end of the year. Um, I didn't get to release a Christmas one. Oh, no. But, um, you know, happy holidays, happy new year for everybody that's watching this. But um, we have a lot to cover. First... There's been a, we had a small conflict almost blow up within the Dukedom of Aberdeen. Dunbar resident Isaac attempted to break away from the Dukedom and um, start a independent fort to fight against the Dukedom. Uh, The king raised a local militia to go fight against him and he surrendered before any shots were fired, so... It's kind of a big letdown, really big letdown. I, I was disappointed about it. I was hoping to watch some death and murder, but eh, it's not as the Battle of Fort Norris officially. Next, a lot of progress has been happening across Scotland. Helmsdale is back to being a dukedom with Cowboy being the duke of it. So welcome back, Duke Cowboy. Hopefully Helmsdale might lose its reputation as ohio maybe i don't know and last but not least uh the prime minister elections yes they are back we are bringing the prime ministers back we i'm excited to see how they go and but when this news report is out the election will be actively happening so hopefully we will see some good candidates we may have some bad ones but Hopefully we get somebody that helps build for Scotland. But these prime ministers will be staying in office for three months before they are cycled out. Unless that there's a vote of no confidence held by the general population. Otherwise than that, a new province map has come out for Scotland, adding some additional provinces. That will be showing right after this segment. And that... Well, we'll be sending you down towards Rosemarkey to check up on the progress that's happening there. A small interview with the Master Builder, Kai. And now we're here with Regent Master Builder, Kai. Regent of Rosemarkey, second command to Duke OH. We've had Duke OH mentioned here a few times, but now we have their Regent, Kai. Hello, Kai. Hi, PJ. Um, so, thank you for being on the news. Um, would you mind telling me a bit about the town behind us? Well, behind you currently. The town that's behind me currently is the... Lauder. Um, it's got a decent, like, 20 or so houses, a couple trading posts, and uh, it's actually the town that my main house is. Uh. And then what about the town behind me? The one behind you is a town. I did not build all of it. I built some of the houses in there. up from when they were there previously. But it also has a good 20-something house and then a couple trading posts. And uh, I think two or three residents now. I'm not 100% sure on that. All right. So, um... We also hear that you um, finished the town of Rosemarkey, did the building for that, and you're now working on the town of Fort Rose. That is correct, yes. I think Kelty is what my next one is here for Rosemarkey. All right. Um, what's it called? So, Scotland's been reopened since about early November. Correct me Around if I'm wrong? Then, yes. And you've managed to get this all done in that span of time. The first three towns that I did, which were Rosemarkey, Blackridge, and Lauder, were all done within the first uh, week before the server. For the most part, I had bits and pieces to fi- fix here and there, but uh, I was on for a very long time working on all three of them. I think the total time, like from what reports said, was like pushing um almost 100 hours in a week 
I think it was a little bit higher than that. I think it was over 100, around 110 is what we... Jesus. So you, you've slowed down a bit after working yourself borderline yeah, I, to death. I started going back to my actual doing uh, some physical therapy for an injury that I had that was what put me out to be able to work those kind of hours here on Scotland to make the towns work. All right. Still, that's that rate of uh, production. Um, the only other um, towns that can claim being produced that quickly is uh, Dunbar and Portage, which both of them were built within um, seven hours. And that was before you allowed uh, the uh, structure blocks, correct? That was back on PS4 edition. There was no structure blocks. That's what I thought it was. I knew it was like older, older. I just could not remember exactly how older. Yeah. That's crazy to think about. No structure blocks or anything. Back before Scotland was a realm. Well, um, next thing we want to ask is, um, what do you plan with, to do with your regency since you are second command of the dukedom and your duke tends to be very much, um, in and out all the time? I'm sorry, you cut in and out on my end for a bit of that. Can you say that again? What do you plan on doing since your dukedom, your duke, um, is in and out all the time, yet you're more active than him? So, meaning you have power in a lot of the cases. Um, I'm not 100% sure. The first thing I want to do is change this godforsaken banner. But I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. I um, I might do my own separate poll banners that he suggested and the couple of banners that I had made and look at them the best out of the, the two or maybe if I could change that first, because we really need a flag change, in, in my honest opinion. I think you guys should go that. back to the uh, classic mushroom. I'm refusing to go to the mushroom right now. Everybody I'd... in Rose Barky also really wants something that has a rose on it. Otherwise, I would, you know, consider that. I, I, I still think the mushroom's the best option. Uh, your right-hand man really wants something with a rose. Saga. He's a minister. That does not make him my right-hand man. Ah, oh, but he's your best friend, I thought. We're good. We hang out. I know. He's also the magic command block man. I know. That's why I thought he was your best friend, because you two are really good at doing a, lo- a bunch of the command block stuff here. I do not do any of the command block stuff here. No, I you not t- don't. I thought you touched it. <laughs> I, I touch it when something isn't working right. And then I find the little mistake that he made in the fucking 500 command blocks he has. <laughs> I, I I don't touch those command blocks. I'll find the one small mistake and then I'll go back to it. Speaking of command blocks and saga, did he ever find that one that was randomly teleporting him? Or I have no clue. Okay, I haven't heard from him in a hot minute, so I was just curious. Yeah, um, it's it's family time. Everybody's away at Christmas. Oh, yeah, I forgot people have families and stuff to get to, huh? Yeah. Well, everybody had a nice holiday um, yesterday. That's good. There, there was only one person that got onto Scotland, and do you want to guess who it was? I think it was Caden, if I remember correctly. Am I wrong? It was it was the Duke of Burrows, Caden. That's what I thought I had saw, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. I would have logged on that night if possible, so I just decided not to. Yeah, his his dedication to being a Duke is impressive. Fair enough. He's pretty decent. He went over to Lock Palette for Fort Rose, which is the one I'm currently working on over there behind us to the uh, I will... of you left of me. Um, yeah. So, you know, that, that was polite of him. He also built the cute little tower, which I ended up destroying to make room for the stuff that I needed to make, but, you know. Yeah. Weirdest part about that was he slapped a Melrosian banner on the tower whenever he built it in one of my towns here in Rosemarkey. I don't know, maybe um maybe Caden's looking to colonize start a war. <laughs> if he wants to start a Duke and war, we're gonna have a whole other problem to deal with. I don't 
military. You always mark you have soldiers. And, uh, oh, same... One or two? Yeah, well, same with Melrose. Melrose only has one or two. The the most okay. militarized dukedoms is Aberdeen and Air, which are my dukedoms, which makes sense, honestly. That's that's fair. You know, that is valid. Yeah. Air clan co- culture, um, kill everybody, ask questions later. Yeah. That, that's sense. the reason why, what's it called, the Meat Clan, Air Clan, and Melrose ended up in so many wars. Hmm. Yeah. Also, for all the viewers watching, if you're wondering what some context to that is, please go back to the, on the channel, there is a playlist called um, Scottish News Network. If you go down about 10 videos, you'll get into all the dukedom wars, and every time that we murdered each other, if you would like some context on that. But besides that, um, I don't think I have any more questions for you, Kai. Do you have anything you want to ask me about or say to the people of Scotland? Um, join Scotland. Just know that this is a great place to be. Would highly recommend it. I've known PJ for, I think, and uh, he's very well, and I'm, I'm proud to be part of Scotland. All right. Well, um, we'll send you over to the next segment, which is another interview, but um, you'll find out about who. And hello, this is our um, little hidden interview that I mentioned. We're now here with the convicted criminal, um, Victor. Victor, would you like to say hello to the news? And I'll say my fucking real name. Um, hello. I stole shit. Yeah, um, 250 counts of theft. Yes. 125 days in jail, and $5 million in fines. Wait, how the fuck did you get that? Wait, what? How did you get a potion of swiftness? You, Wait. You, oh. That's a Duke of Oh, he didn't steal from me. Okay, got it. You know what? Once so. Again. Yeah. You know what much you like to say to the population of Scotland now when I you die? Now when I'm drunk? Uh, 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 have sex and suck dick. Appropriate for a prisoner. Well, I'll take you to his hanging. I pick. Nobody picks to kill you. Now, as this is his final moments, we see him hanging from the gallows, ready to be dropped. A noose hung around his neck. So many people here to watch the spectacle of the end of a man's life. Here within Edinburgh. I'm not a here cult stands man. the one and only Archer. Federal criminal. Please step forward, child. Step forward and look towards the crowd. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do May God bless your soul. No. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm still alive. And that is all. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little break. Now we're here looking at the actual world map of Scotland. So, as you can see, everything is colored. Right. And just for your quick um, rundown, the white markers means it's a fort. If you're wondering why there's weird white markers throughout the entire map. And I'm just going to be explaining to you what, why dukedom borders are the way dukedom borders are. Alright, so. We're going to pick Rosemarkey, right? Now, you see how there's towns scattered throughout, right? That designate that, hey, this is a town owned by this dukedom, right? Now, there is two provinces within Rosemarkey. One moment. You have the province of Elba, which comes along this rough border here. And then you have the province of Rosemarkey, right? That comes along this border, right? These two provinces have different earls, right? The earl of this is the king, right? 
Well, the Earl of this is usually the Duke, right? Now, you create a weird situation with this, right? Because technically speaking, right, the king is over the duke in all cases, right? But the duke has authority over the king within the province of Elba, right? So we have weird situations like that that occur within Scotland where people will have multiple different titles, right? Like, um, for example, right, the Duke of Inverness, right, has earlship over the Isle of Elba, right? But does not technically own the earlship over the um, province of High Toll. So you see how he has this, he doesn't have this, but he technically is the Duke of all of this. And we have a lot of cases of that throughout all of Scotland, right? And then even crazier, right, is we have the Earl of, the Baron of Aloha, with no Earl above them, but with the Duke. Now, if you know what the uh, Scottish tree looks like, right, you can also see what time I'm recording this, Jesus Christ. Um, you basically have only so much that can happen here within Scotland, right? Now, certain places only have one province or two provinces within the t entire dukedom, so it's not too big of a deal. But then you get into a dukedom like Aberdeen or Melrose, right? Where Melrose, in total, let me just uh, really quickly outline the provinces throughout it, right? Melrose is a three-province dukedom. I'm just doing rough borders right now, right? Now, the duke... Duke Diamond is the Earl of these two provinces. Well, Czech and Tosh is completely dead empty, right? So, for the t full title of Duke Caden Diamond, right, is Duke of Melrose, Earl of Hillside and Melrose, Baron of Hillside and Co... Baron of Hillside of Bay, right? And Aslaus. So you get royals with these really long titles. So if you're ever wondering why somebody will... You have some dukes that will talk in a gray zone. That is why dukes talk in some gray zones occasionally too. This is a really haphazardly put together. I'm answering general questions that I hear half the time. Alright. Last things last for this little segment before I send you to the outro. Is... The province of air, right? Right through here. Rough borders, right? There's a baron for each one of these towns except Port Naki, right? All these are different barons. I'm the baron of air, all right? And um, Presswick's under Zane. Adrosin's under Kiwi, if I remember correctly. Actually, no. Adrosin's under Vadim. Air's under me, right? And then, um, what's it called? Pleans under Curtis, right? All different barons, but within one province. But you'll have dukedom situations like that occasionally. So, if you're ever confused of what earl, royal to answer to, go to your duke first, and if your duke does not want to deal with you, ask a, they will send you to the loyal, lower royal that is responsible for you. If there's no lo lower royal responsible for you, the duke will deal with you. And if there is no duke to deal with, you're going straight to the king. So, have fun. If the king's not available, go to the queen. Bother her. Make her do her job. Besides that, we'll send you to the outro. Well, we hope you enjoyed another Scottish News Network news report. I'm out doing the outro to Pentonweem today because why not? I don't care. I This report's coming out six or seven days late because I thought I was going to have this done before New Year's. By the way, Happy New Year's, everybody. It did not happen. I got lazy. But um, besides that, uh, we'll catch you next time here on the Scottish News Network. Hopefully, we'll get another one out of another news report out before February, but if not, we'll see you then.